The Belarusian protest is nearing a two-month mark. Eight weekends in a row, tens of thousands have been marching through the country's capital Minsk and other large regional cities, demanding President Alexander Lukashenko's resignation and holding new free and fair elections. I think that, having been in power for 26 years, Lukashenko has completely departed from the reality. He cannot understand that his time is over. Other protesters demand the release of all political prisoners. One of them is a dual U.S.-Belarusian citizen, Vitaly Shklarov. The Washington-based political analyst was snatched off the streets of his native city of Gomel in late July, when he arrived in Belarus to see his elderly parents. American lawmakers tell VOA that the U.S. government is doing everything possible to secure his release. The message to the family is that he is not forgotten, that uh, we're, we, sh we should apply every bit of diplomatic pressure we can to get him released. Uh, and this is a matter of grave importance to this nation. Every Sunday, thousands gather outside Minsk's infamous Akrestina detention center, where hundreds of peaceful demonstrators were held in the aftermath of the contested August 9th election and were beaten and tortured for days. Some of the arrested protesters are still there today. Congressman Chris Smith, a Republican from New Jersey, says Belarusian police brutality has shocked the public and U.S. lawmakers are demanding accountability. We want names. You know, when we sanction, the more names, the better. Uh, because this, we're not going away this time. Smith is the author of a fourth edition of the Belarus Democracy Act, passed by the House Foreign Affairs Committee last week. The bill strengthens and expands the previous acts and renews the sanctions on an expanded list of actors in the Belarusian government and Russian individuals complicit in the crackdown. I think they'll be very effective. Uh, I think we've now reached the tipping point with Lukashenko. Activists say the Western sanctions send the right signal to Lukashenko, but the man dubbed by his opponents as a master of political balancing has withstood similar pressure in the past with no loss. The measures applied today cannot be called sufficient. They are not making Lukashenko change his behavior. What's clearly different these days is the level of outrage of the Belarusian people, evidenced in one of their main protest chants. In the meantime, the peaceful protests, as well as crackdowns, continue daily. Igor Tikhanenko, VOA News, Washington.